So, no matter how prepared you think you are, uh, there's always one or two colonies that catch you by surprise. So here's a six frame, 14 by 12 loop. That, uh, when I came two weeks ago, was a little bit behind. But that's what we're looking at now. I'd left an eek on to give them one last um, feed and uh, well this is the result in two weeks they have absolutely boomed I actually because I when I came over I didn't get to check down into the um, you know in below into the brood so I wasn't really I, I, I didn't know what kind of uh, brood level was in there um, but the weather was bad and I just came over dropped another kilo of fondant on and um, I had an eek put on with a queen excluder and obviously in the meantime uh, the bees th there was a bit of a dandelion flow on around here as you can see because this orangey coloured um, honey here now is, is uh, sort of dandelion and you can see the yellowy comb so they have filled that up with brace comb so this is obviously a good nuke I have um, I have a box here now that I'm going to move them into um, but this colony is nearly ready to actually have a super put on top as well um, but I don't have any today so uh, I have to get over during the week and drop another uh, couple of supers on on these colonies as well over here um, because obviously things are doing well at this site. So I've moved these two nukes now. Uh, both are very strong and both actually had swarm cells in them, the beginnings of swarm cells. In fact, uh, this one here in the pink box had uh, two or three uh, uncapped queen cells. But I'm hoping now just, I'll have to come back obviously and check them in the next couple of days. But I'm hoping that the move into a full size box will just uh, stimmy the the uh, swarm impulse now for um, for the moment anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, I, I'll come back and check in a couple of days time and just make sure that they're not building fresh uh, swarm cells. Both boxes have foundation and comb added in. Um, just to kind of, I suppose the comb is to sort of provide an immediate uh, spot for the queen to lay in because obviously I'm a bit late transferring these and the foundation then obviously will just hopefully the bees will start working on that so the foundation is on the outer edge and the comb is nearest uh, the, the um, original uh, frames. Um, so all these other colonies here are doing very well. I've just trimmed the grass here with the hedge trimmers. And uh, these bees are a little upset at me now, so um, I'm not going to hang around too long here. But um, they're doing very well. Uh, this one here is on two supers. Um, as you can see, uh, now the top box, well, actually, they haven't really filled out either supers, it was more for space. Um, this one here is on one super. Uh, again, they haven't fully filled it out, so you know it's it's just. But this one here now, um, in the standard brood chamber. Uh, I'll just show you if I can. So if we look under here. 
jammed with bees. So the smoker's blowing a bit hot now, so I don't want it. I'll upset them if I. But uh, yeah, so this one here was a bit backward. I think there was a shrew or something getting in at them. Uh, certainly something was digging at the entrance uh, to the box. Um, so they were a bit behind, but the queen is definitely catching up now. She's three full frames of brood uh, laid up, uh, with cat brood I should say. Uh, so I'm, I'm obviously, I'm expecting uh, a bit of a, a surge in them. So I'm just going to leave them in that box for another week just to uh, let them build up before I move them into a full box. So now I'm off to another apiary to move some more nukes. change of mind with some of these nukes um, just because <clears throat> the majority of the colonies have been very slow this year to build up um, and normally at this time of the year now I'd be taking splits in fact you'd be doing a lot of um, swarm in in prevention inspections and so on and uh, the colonies would be building up so big that um, you would be taking splits off. Now this year, for me anyway, um, the majority of the colonies, uh, especially any of them that overwintered on ivy honey, have been very slow to build up. But I've also been very slow to take the ivy honey off. And the ivy honey is quite um, solid at the moment. The temperatures haven't really come up, so bees have probably been struggling to get through it but still at the same time it's a food source now that's just so that I don't have to liquid feed but some of these nukes I liquid fed last year like in the autumn and they have built up quite well and so what I'm going to actually do is put um, an extra brood box, a standard brood box. These ones are on 14 by 12 frames. So essentially it's like, you know, they have the full capacity of a normal size brood chamber there. But I'm gonna put another standard national size box on top. Let the queen work up and um, hopefully start laying there. And uh, it'll allow me then just to take off some splits off these nukes because these are young queens they're prolific bees are not in great form today I'm after getting one or two stings already I've been working through some of the others um, but that's because all the foragers are at home it's uh, damp there was a soft rain falling earlier but it's it's otherwise it's damp it's kind of foggy um, and there isn't much activity happening out of the hives now. And 
it's just coming up to one o'clock now. So as I've said, these nukes have just boomed and I'm putting it down to the, mostly down to the liquid feed that I gave them uh, last year in the autumn that they were able to access it a little easier coming into the spring and you'll see here on this one in particular the the effect of the dandelion the comb is is quite yellow up in this upper part and same on this side and there's a bit of stores here in the back corner that has solidified a little but um, they're back filling in here with nectar and pollen mm -hmm. on this side so this has allowed these colonies to build up now I'm going through them as well because in ones I checked earlier, so I'm going to go through this one. In ones I checked earlier, the um, there were queen cups. Now none of them were charged, but uh, you know, again, the um, the thought process is there for some of these nukes because they are running out of space. But it's very hard to know what to do at the moment really because you know and you'll see this in Gwyn and Griffith's videos he's taking measures to feed his bees now and it's sort of a similar situation here some of the colonies seem to be collecting quite a lot of nectar right for a frame of brood but some of the colonies seem to be collecting quite a lot of nectar and others are not and um, just the temperatures haven't come up really for, for, for the plants to kind of release the nectar um, there's a queen cup but it's not charged um, nice frame brood there and the queen has laid out here, out to the outer edges with eggs these eggs are heading on two day old because they're just starting to lie over and there's some larvae on this side and eggs right up into the top corner up here so I mean that there is just that'll show you where this queen is going she is looking for space now and she's laying right up into the top corners of these 14 by 12 frames and that's where they should be well where you know you like to see nectar um being put to form that rim so if i give them the space that the queen is looking for up top with another box i'm hoping she'll go up and maximize the potential for this queen to then provide me with brood and bees hopefully to make it a couple of early season splits I mean, most of my colonies are nowhere near ready to take off splits yet and you know I know some people have seen some videos there in the UK and that where they are taking splits off already um, but I just don't want to do that yet because I don't want to weaken colonies that are just starting to build up yeah there is plenty of brood there now and they're going to boom in the next week but I also want you know my colonies to be able to 
produce me a crop of honey. So if I'm stripping them of bees now, it's going to set them back significantly because you know the bees are only really building up size now that they can actually manage to rear this level of brood. You know. bees are a little bit cross with me flying up and bouncing off my veil but otherwise they're generally calm I haven't seen the queen here yet my guess is she's up there in the feeder that's where I found quite a lot of them this year whatever is attracting them up there I don't see her down there in the next frame but Mm -hmm. You can see here the population is just, they're crammed in here and I'm not seeing, there was only one queen cup I saw and it wasn't charged so there's no other, to be quite frank I suppose, ah there she is. She's my, nicely marked, but um, I don't know if you can see her then. But there isn't really much uh, to encourage the bees to think about swarming at the moment. Temperatures are down and obviously foraging is low. So while these bees are building up. That in itself can cause a bit of trouble. So I'm going to show you what, what, what way I'm doing. What I'm putting on them. The boxes I'm putting on because there's actually a bit of feed in them as well. For these colonies. Because as you can see. Whilst there was small amounts of nectar. filling in spots. It's very low. These bees are consuming it as quick as they're bringing it in because this queen just has one thing on her mind and that's build up a population so again I'm going to capitalize on that um, just now uh, I said you know ordinarily you would be putting this nuke into a full size box building them up and even possibly putting a super on them but uh, there's no point in doing that when the forage isn't there. But yet this queen wants to build up so make use of that and then I will be able to take splits then as soon as conditions improve and allow me to get rearing queens. There's no drones flying yet. Uh, there is some drone brood in some of the colonies but uh, uh, there was only one colony. In fact I have a, a drone layer colony and that's the only one I've seen drones walking on the comb the rest of them I have no drones walking on the comb yet so we're nowhere near swarming you know there is drone brood so it's it's um it's cat brood so you know another week or so before possibly that hatches uh, and then you know you have to wait then for your drones to reach maturity so it's at least another month for me now I go and get the box just scrape off any of that brace comb that has potential to squish bees uh, I'm just giving another little up there to bring them down. Come on girls, go down. That's it. Now, so, I found it here already, but anyway, we have, what I have is one frame of foundation with full sheet of foundation on either side of the box. And um, then I have comb that I had with some uh, stores in it. 
So this has had one round of brood, but um, I know that it's clean otherwise. And so there is stores here that will just feed this colony. They're in need of it. Because as you can see, there was very little in terms of... And again, there's another comb which that has had one round of brood. So the, the queen will hopefully move up to this fairly quickly. She lay. But also the colony will get a chance to kind of just bruise some of this here that they start cleaning it up to um, nourish itself on these doors. And in a three weeks time I'll hopefully be able to pull the split and I have two other colonies done this way now, two other nucleus colonies see these bees were building comb, a bit of wild comb up into the feeder and just peel that back now and these are crammed up here but uh, this particular colony is quite sluggish actually so it's almost like as though they were on the brink of starvation if I left them much longer and uh, that's the way some of these colonies are you know the special ones that are building up rapid very quickly can starve at this time even though you know there is still some dandelion in flower there's sick more coming into flower but just the temperature and the weather generally has not been very favourable for these bees to get out and all it takes is two or three days of a colony like this and they uh, um, use up the bit of nectar they've brought in and that's when they start failing then I'll still put the bit of a neat here and those bees can actually find their way back down yeah. So that's that. Three weeks time, hopefully. The weather has improved. We'll get a split off them. Well, it's about 20 past 10 on uh, Wednesday the 8th of May and uh, the apiary is already a hive of activity uh, <clears throat> two videos back I think I uh, indicated that the weather was changing and it looked like that the change was here to stay and spring was coming um, and maybe a day or two later the weather turned cold again and the bees sort of just slouched um, and that cold has kind of been around up until just the weekend gone, the long bank holiday weekend here. Uh, yeah, the, the bees weren't doing a whole lot, um, but there's huge activity here this morning. Now, I've had a, a, a change of plan with some things. Um, I had a couple of nukes that I was going to move into full-size colonies, but instead I've decided just um, because the main colonies, which normally I would be taking splits off at this time of the year, are behind where I'd like them to be to take splits off um, I've decided to use some of the nukes that are kind of booming at the moment uh, to uh, become brood factories now that's something I would do maybe later in the season when I'd make up my first round of splits uh, in May I would then use those early nukes that I'd make up in May to actually be brood factories then 
to kind of supplement um, my production colonies say during for the July honey flow um, <clears throat> so up to that I'd actually be taking splits off my production colonies from May and possibly into early June and then I'd supplement then with brood from the nukes uh, that I take out to come in for July so that that the bees would be sort of that would hatch from that brood would be ready to sort of start um, foraging uh, early July <coughs> so this year as I've said just with things being behind um, I, I'm not taking splits from my production colonies as of yet and it doesn't look like I will be doing that uh, you know with it, certainly within the next fortnight I would imagine in, as regards drones uh, there's drone brood in some of the colonies but uh, there, I've only seen in one one of the out apiaries. I, it's the only place I've actually seen drones out walking on the comb, and at that it was it was a very small number. So even in terms of um, you know queen rearing again, it'd be beginning queen rearing now normally because you'd actually see drones flying, and I'm not seeing any drones flying. So uh, it, it's basically you know nowhere near ready yet to to uh, for queen rearing. That being said, because I know there's drone brood in the colonies and that there will be drones coming uh, soon, I am thinking now about queen rearing, so I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating doing that, maybe uh, making a start of that next week. Um, it'll be a small scale uh, this time around. I won't be doing a large rounds of grafts. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is the um, nukes that I'm using as brood factories I'm literally just going to lift splits off them and I'm going to use those splits uh, to rear uh, queen cells a handful of queen cells in each one so what I, what I have is I've I have three nukes that I'm using uh, as brood factories and I'm possibly going to use a fourth I will take the top box off them which is the um, box that I'm using for for the brood for the extra brood and for the splits, and I am going to then put in maybe two to three grafts uh, in each of those splits. Uh, let them raise queen cells, and then when the, uh, assess the queen cells, then at the ten day stage, and split the colony up then into smaller splits again. Um, uh, and, and then allow those queen cells to hatch so that's what I'm going to do in the near future so uh, if you want to see that subscribe to my videos and hit the notification bell and uh, you will get to follow the progress in relation to that Thank you.